So, in this module I am going to discuss about the obstetric emergencies. The learning objectives of this module are to understand the normal physiological changes during the pregnancy which are relevant to the management of the critically obstetric patient. I will also discuss the general management of a pregnant patient in the ICU who may be admitted because of a primary obstetric problem or may be admitted because of some other coexistent problem and is critically ill. I will also discuss in depth about the specific obstetric emergencies and their management. If you try to quantify these physiological changes in the blood gas, you will find that the PCO2 is decreased to, to around 27 to 32 and this is what is, what is considered as normal in pregnancy. So, the normal PCO2 in pregnancy is around 27 to 32. The PO2 is remains normal or is slightly increased, but the pH remains unchanged because of the renal compensation, the decrease, there is a decrease in the bicarbonate and the, there is no change in the pH. In terms of the cardiovascular changes, the heart rate again increases particularly during the second trimester and plateaus. The important point is that the, the cardiac output increases significantly particularly after the second trimester and may reach up to 50 percent of the pre-pregnant state actually. The mean arterial pressure decreases during the second trimester because of the increase in the progesterone level during the second trimester and the systemic vascular resistance also decreases during the uh, around 30 to 50 percent during the second trimester because of the increase in the progesterone. In terms of the hematological changes because of the increase in the plasma volume by around 30 to 50 percent, the, but the RBC volume is increased by 10 to 15 percent. So, this leads to a sort of a dilutional anemia in pregnancy and the hematocrit decreases to around 30 to 35, 34 percent which is normal for pregnancy. There is a side leukocytosis during pregnancy. Most of the clotting factors are increased during pregnancy and including fibrogen and this leads the pregnant lady, this predisposes the pregnant lady to risk of thrombosis and DVT. Fibrin level is more than 400 milligram is considered normal in pregnancy. Any fibrin level less than 150 is considered abnormal in pregnancy. In terms of the GFR, the GFR is significantly increased and there is a slight decrease in the creatinine, so which may be relevant in terms of the antibiotic prescription in the pregnancy. Mm -hmm.